Hey yo, what is up you absolute legends? Welcome back to my channel and another Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis video. I hope you're having a fantastic day or night, wherever you may be in the world, and enjoy today's Should You Pool video for the most recent banner that has dropped in Ever Crisis, which is this one that you can see on your screen right now. It is the New Year's banner, which brings a new outfit or garb for both Cloud and Sephiroth, as well as new weapons for both of those characters. It is an awesome banner because on top of Cloud and Sephiroth's stuff, you can also wishlist Aerith's Snowflake and Lucia's Holiday Revolver from previous banners. Taking a look at the gear itself, we have Cloud's official festive garb, which gives a boost physical attack and flame blade arcanum, which is that fat 35% boost to fire damage. Sephiroth, on the other hand, has boost HP, which is always nice, and fire mastery, which is the 20% boost to fire. So not bad. Cloud's already looking a bit better in more ways than one, in my opinion, but yeah. Each to their own. Here is Cloud's garb and weapon. If you wanted to take a closer look at it, um, they synergize quite well with each other. They look really good together. And yeah, that is them. I apologize, I was not able to draw Sephiroth's outfit or weapon, so I won't be able to showcase that. And yeah, sorry about that. Here is the animation for Cloud's weapon. It's looking really cool, and it's looking, I can't be 100% sure, but maybe to be a medium to medium fast animation. Really nice. Also rip these golden cactus that I won't be getting because I only brought the weapon, no materia, no nothing. So bye bye cactus. Back on to things that matter, we are going to be looking at these two badass weapons in a little more detail. So Cloud's Sky Splitter is giving boost physical attack 40 points, boost fire potency 36 points, so very much standard, and 850% physical fire damage to a single target, much like the Sea Splitter, except for its fire. It has a massive physical attack stat, two physical attack boosts and an X sigil boost for support materia. Looking very good so far. Sephiroth has Radiant Edge, which has 54 points of boost physical attack and 36 points of boost fire potency, along with also a great physical attack stat, an ability very similar to Bold Eagle and Black Whiskers, where it lowers the enemy's defense and elemental resistance. For support materia, it's physical attack boost 1, an attack boost for fire, and a sigil boost for X. So now I'm going to compare the weapons to similar weapons in the game. For Cloud's Sky Splitter, I'll be comparing against other boost fire potency weapons that you can see on your screen right now. Crew Kicker from Glen, Rage Collar from Red, Prototype Crimson Blade, Flame Projector, and Crystal Sword for Zack. There you can see the stats and R abilities and support materia that I just mentioned. Then we have Red's Rage Collar, where you can see the primary stat does not measure up. The command ability is 100% lower, the R1 has more points, but the R2 has less points. Then the rest of the weapons are coming up, and you can see the Scar Splitter really measures up to most weapons. It is quite standard, except for the fact that its physical attack stat at max is way above the others on their primary stats. The command ability is 100% more damage than most of the other single target weapons. You can see that it really fills into the standard role of the 40 points of boost physical and the 36 points of boost fire. 
If you compare that, as I said, to Red's Rage Collar, it has more uh, points in the R1, but less in the R2. And the same thing for Zack's Crystal Sword. It has the most fire potency, so the most points in the R2, but then it has much less points in the R1. So the Scar Splitter really stacks up well and has the best physical attack stat or primary stat out of all of these weapons. In terms of support material, it also brings a Sigil Boost, making it one of the better weapons here on this list. Overall, it's looking like a really good weapon. Moving on to Sephiroth's weapon, I will be comparing this to the Bald Eagle and Black Whiskers because it is the closest to those weapons in terms of everything that it brings. So we'll take a look at those and see how they measure up. And if you've watched any of my previous videos, you'll know that I hold the Bald Eagle and Black Whiskers in very high regard. So there's the Radiant Edges stats as you've seen before laid out there for you. And we will be comparing it to the Bald Eagle. You can see the physical attack stat is already higher than the Bald Eagles. The R abilities are the same. And the primary stat of the Radiant Edge is higher than the Black Whiskers as well. And you can see all three of the weapons have the same R stats, R points, should I say. And well, all three of them have physical attack boosts and attack boosts for their elements. Lucia's Bald Eagle sadly has only an attack boost. And the other two have sigil boosts, which are fantastic. So very much in line with these weapons that are already fantastic, but with pretty much 20 more physical attack stat at max. So looking really, really solid, both of these weapons. So if you're wondering if you should pull on this banner, I would say yes. Both weapons are really worth pulling for. Clouds for straight up DPS and Sephiroth's for amazing utility. Clouds garb or outfit is really good to pull. Sephiroth's not so much, but pull for it if you like it. So the answer is... Do it! Just do it! And that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you all the best in your pulls. May RNG be forever on your side. Have a very happy new year. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.